my heart just dropped. I mean, the yelping turns my stomach. We can all certainly empathize with that man. A dog not on the leash attacks him and his pup. Tonight, that man is now on rabies watch. Welcome to Nightside on this Friday night. I am Ryan Bass. And I'm Carolina Lee. Tonight, Animal Control is handing out these flyers trying to find the man who's responsible here. Nightside's Angelina Salcedo spoke to the owner of that dog who wants that guy off the streets. By the time I got him back, the dog was already up on him and I had him by the face. Taking his dogs out for a walk could have turned deadly for David Yulberry. As soon as he gets out of his door, an unleashed dog charges and attacks. I was just terrified. I, my, my whole um, thought process in my head was just to try to get that dog off him as soon as possible because the way it looked to me is that he had a hold of his eye, so I didn't want him to lose his eye. Now, this incident was all caught on a ring doorbell. The video that it captured could help animal control catch the man responsible. I really haven't watched it all. I just, I don't know. I just hear the him screaming and, you know, it just bothers me. That's why we aren't playing the audio for you. David says the man gave him an address and phone number, but they turned out to be fake. I'm just concerned that he's going to, you know, come through the neighborhood again with the dog or if there's kids around somewhere else, that dog's going to be off the leash. Over $200 in medical bills later and little Gizmo is getting treatment for a cut under his eye and one on his ear. In the middle of the scuffle, David also got bit and scratched and now he's worried about rabies. Other concern you know, he broke the skin in both spots that, you know, got to make sure he's vaccinated. <sighs> Just think about that dog every time he tries to leave the home now. Yeah. All right, so uh, rabies, that's the main concern now for David? Yeah, that's definitely the main concern because we saw that he got caught. And obviously, rabies can be prevented, but only if it's an in-person treat treatment and it gets treated quickly. If not, it's almost always fatal. So animal control really needs to know if the other dog was vaccinated. Exactly, because if not, he could also get rabies. That's why it's so important to find this man. Investigators hope somebody recognizes him from the surveillance video so David won't have to get vaccinated. We posted that video on our Facebook page on WTSP.com to give you a closer look.